Well, in this very noisy toy here, I've got two tiny red trains from Powell. I've got an E253. Hopefully, I've got the name correct there. It's an E253 series. You can find an EH 520, three passenger coaches with a good train right behind it. And in this video, I've only got a few products which will be very nice. So I don't know how long I'm actually going to run these trains for, but mind you, after I make this toy view, the trains that you'll be seeing running will be completely short. And I actually think that's a very good thing to hear. But anyways, uh, I've got a couple of party stores kit bands though. And I've got a funny feeling, there's obviously two more of them. Um, I don't know why, but I've got a funny feeling this just helps to basically expand and to help extend the first up dinosaur's toy range. And I've got to tell you what guys, eh? This is totally uh, crazy. In fact, I'm actually getting a whole ton of more party stores hats, though, since about... When did I did this? Was it about... Um, I can't remember. Was it Wednesday of last week? Uh, I can't remember. That video I had a dislike, though, because I actually mistaken the ET53 as an ET56 or an ET57, but luckily I did spot that mistake. Uh, it took a while, because I didn't remember that train name, but anyways... And once again, we've got the same details there, but yeah, it's literally, you know, it's literally the same sort of artwork there, but a little bit different, but looks quite nice. Once again, there's the other side of the artwork here. Okay, without being a bit too crazy though, there's the licensing info right in here. Just going to show you what the licensing info looks like. And I'm just looking at the computer at the back there. Okay, that's that headband. Done. Of course, that headband, the first one we looked at, is done, and we're going to take a look at this one here without sounding like a rough loony. <laughs> and once again, we've got the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex on the head there. We've got a Triceratops on the letter R, and we've got a couple of Brachiosauruses on. Yes, it's here. Another Triceratops head. Feels like we're repeating the same features over and over and over again. And, to be quite honest, these headbands come in two different shades of green. One being bright green, and the other being, you know, dark green. You know, this sort of shade. And nothing like, you know, yellowish, greenish sort of colour, like, you know, lime. I wouldn't think of it uh, that way, I'd, I'd say. But yeah, once again, we've got the licensing info. Once again, as you can see. Oh, I think I've just jerked the camera though, but... Looks pretty cool. Licensing info. Okay, that's the two. Oh my goodness me. These two headbands done. Hopefully, I've only got about two to touch button to go now. And remember, I did a video where I've actually talked about the painted storks and then the pterodactyls, which were like dinosaurs that were like painted storks, you know, painted stork headed dinosaurs. That was strange, wasn't it, though? But, anyways, hopefully, this could be a sequel to what I did recently doing. Monday of this week, I think it's, yes, it was this week, and uh, we're coming up towards Monday of next week, which will be tomorrow, and geez, I'm actually feeling like that maybe, after making this video, I really need a toilet break, but anyways, I need to do, I need to do this one here, it is the Painted Stork Fishing Plot 12 Pack, it costs about £15.99, sorry, I'm just going to take a look at uh, what, what I have at the moment though, Okay, this is what we have. Yeah, there's the price there. As I said earlier, £13.99 or £14. And that is basically the whole entire artwork. It's got the Pokeball on the left top section there. And it's because we haven't had that much hot weather during July, uh, which will be very unfortunate though. But let's take a look at the back of the packaging here, because the back artwork is very interesting. And it's also very reminiscent of what you obviously, you know, obviously see on flip-out tours of today. Okay, you've got a couple of painted stalks. I think it's most likely, in fact, all the birds are painted stalks in this one, okay? And uh, we've got a, um, actually, is that a harlequin rasper? Yes, all the fishies are harlequin rasperers, uh, but they're in a different colour. It's more likely pink. A bit girly looking, but I'll just have a go. And sorry, I don't think I've shown you... Uh, the packaging that well on the camera though because I was just focusing too much on the trains and in fact the room is starting to get noisy but nevertheless 
If I do this one successfully, hopefully there'll be no sounds of noise. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at what we have. I'm going to come in and do the unpacking. Feels like these envelopes haven't been, um, how do you say it, sealed properly, and probably the stickiness in them is mediocre, unfortunately. But here are all the birds and the fishies there. And maybe it's best if I go and get a trash can. Hopefully it will help me to stand, you know, the camera right upwards, just to make everything better than before. You know, when I did that hideous Tyrannosaurus Alan Roar, you know, with that train, the E-253, and mind you, that was a bit rough and ready for a crash like that. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to grab, I've got a trash can with me, just to assist on doing toy views like so. Uh, look, where's the birds and the fishies there? Okay. Uh, let's find where they are. There they are. Okay, I can see them. Let me just handle one of these guys here. So this is a painted stork. We all know that. In fact, I know that one, of course, because it's got a yellow beak. It's got a red face, like a crane. In fact, there is a bird called a crane. In fact, yes, that machine thing that we all know that we call a crane is named after a real bird called a crane. Now, we've got a Actually, the eye colour looks very different in that one. And oh my goodness me, someone has actually forgotten to paint or colour in this bird here in fully red on that section here. But on the other side, there's none. So maybe I need to go ahead and edit this one with, you know, something totally red. And oh my goodness me, that was one mistake. Uh, that's made just before the tour is been done. But anyways, I've got it now. I think I've done it like so. That was a quick fix, though. So it's sort of in the, sh you know, in a very different shade of red, but it's okay. It's okay by the looks of it. But anyways, it's got the same wing patterns like so. By just looking at it, you can see there's pink, dark green, and grey, and uh, there's not really that much signs of black. I've made six of these guys. Same features again. Blah blah blah. But let me take a look at the Harlequin Raspberries because I think these little fishies there might have changed over time. In fact, look at that. Very interesting indeed. They're like tropical species of freshwater fish. I think raspberries are like the, um, the tetras of the old world. You know, tetras are found in the new world. Like, you know, they're like closely related to piranhas and stuff like that. They are quite cute indeed. Very, very cute. And once again, they're found in, you know, waters of Malaysia, Thailand, and Singapore, even Indonesia. That's what we all need to look at. And like I did in the previous video, they've all got a little grey or a black triangle on both sides, which is very, very nice to see. And they've also got a bit of black or grey detailing on the end of their fins, which is called the quarter fin. You know, that's the fin where it's literally called the tail, and they move side to side, like all fish do. Perhaps. But anyways, that's that product done. Goodness me. I feel like I'm gonna poop now, but oh my goodness me. Um I'll try and do my best and do this toy view as much better as I could do. And there's oh, there's one here though, but I've actually haven't got, you know, the little triangles on both sides, and maybe I could do that now. Oh my goodness me, I keep getting quite a few in between the steps in the toy view. But anyways, I'm going to fix them right away now, and it's all you. So it's been very noisy because I've got two trains running now. And I've actually added a lot more rolling stock onto the Tommy Clarell EFA, oh my goodness, the EH500, but there it is there, the mistake has solved. Oh yeah. Got it on both sides. Now it's time to take a look at the Materoraptors. You know, the dinosaurs that were inspired by these painted stalks. You know, the birds that I used to see in my trip to Malaysia. I don't think they're native to Malaysia, nor Singapore, but anyways, here's a look at this product here. It costs about £16.95, that product here. If I show you the price, amongst that image of a Nectoraptor catching a fish, there it is there. So it's getting a bit shaky though, because, yeah, I'm trying to stand out though, you know, a bit hunched, but yeah, I'm trying to stand 
you know, I'm, I'm actually doing like a sit down sort of stand up sort of pose. You know, I, I was trying to crouch down, you know, and my knees and my feet are starting to hurt though. That's a big problem though, but here's the product name there. Okay, it's called the Victoria Raptor Bird Dino Fishing Troop 12 Pack. And if I show you the name correctly, it is there. I'm trying to show you the rest of the artwork here. My goodness me, it's very, very hard. What is that? Oh my goodness me, is that? Oh my goodness me, is that Hulk and Twisted Drag as Adolf Hitler? That is so weird. And here's the back of the packaging like that. Okay. <laughs> It feels like we're getting some sort of weird caricature of Adolf Hitler from these species there, the Colchemps. Sorry for being a bit, well, hilariously too cool though, but anyways, let's just go ahead and just unpack this, but otherwise I'll be too rude for uh, children's entertainment, or non-children's entertainment. Now, I've got a few Colchemps left. Any more? No, that's about it. And I think it's best if I could just move the trash can away. Oh! Oh, the camera's just flipped onto one side. Didn't realise that, but luckily enough, I haven't got my, you know, face being shown on my camera. But anyways, let me just take a look at the dinosaurs. So, what do we have now? Okay, so let me try and stand up one of these guys here. This is, of course, the Pteroraptor, because these dinosaurs are literally designed after the painted stalks from Asia and there is the face and again shares the same face as those stalks I've just looked at maybe I can make a 12 pack of these guys I hope there's some feet there ok it looks very nice here there's some colours which look like that very beautiful isn't it though but a lot of sloppiness on the, um, the painting it's not that great and also the eye is a bit very hard to see I'm a bit blind, so I couldn't really... Um, yeah, I don't think I could show you the eyes that well. You know, they haven't got that much line detailing on them, which is very sad. But nevertheless, I sort of see them. But I wish I would prefer them if they had line details on them. And uh, once again, I've got the Colcomb fishies there. I've already seen these guys there, so... Yes, they all look like that. And there's two more in the background. I'm trying to be very careful there because there's a train on the background there, in fact, two trains there, uh, being the E-253 and the EA-500, and the one that's trying to ignore me is the E-253, so I'm just going to move out just a bit further away so that it doesn't make any contact with me, and then derail, that's going to be a bit of a, bit of a remedy, a bit of a mitigation plan I think, but anyways, let me just take a look at the other ones, so these are the so I've just looked at here's one there that still looks pretty similar okay actually this one here looks oh it's got a brown sort of tower there looks quite interesting it looks like it's emerging towards this sort of colorization here very interesting colors very interesting indeed and I'm not quite sure this one's got lines on the eye detailing here I think yes I think it's got line details and what I think it's only one side Perhaps. And this one here. Yeah, I think this one here has got. Oh, look at that, it's peeking at you. I'm pretty sure it's got line detailing on that side there. If I show you quickly there, maybe there is. Yeah, it's getting quite a bit noisy there, but anyways, that's just about it there. We've got another one here. Does that have line detailing on the eyes? Yeah, I think it has. Sorry, I've only just crushed the feet on that guy, eh? But anyway, it looks. Pretty cool indeed. And luckily enough, the trains haven't derailed in this video, so they must have done a very safe sort of, well, let's just say, run around, a sort of safe, well, let's just say, run around the whole house on their own, well, let's just say, separate layouts, which is very nice to hear. But, anyways, that's the product done. Lovely artwork in this um, packaging there. Okay, looks very, very cool. And mind you, this is totally awesome, totally amazing indeed. And I'm still looking forward to make some more with that toys in the future, but I really don't know because I do feel like uh, I don't know if I could literally, you know, hold up my panel until about well, September. But anyways, that's just me 
thinking outside the square in a very futuristic way. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just sort of thinking maybe I should stop making videos until about September, but anyways, I think that's just about it in this video. Please give this video a good like if I show you the thumbs up correctly. Like, so hopefully this video has made you, well let's just say enjoy this toy review even more. And go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that's the best thing to do if you want to see more videos on my YouTube channel, although I still feel like, yeah, I do have some proposals of me kind of feel like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, because I just feel like maybe there's one thing I could probably, you know, get away from the channel, is just postpone my career until about September. But anyways, hope you enjoy this video. And I know these trains are getting absolutely noisy, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and it's pretty short video but it's been quite noisy and like now.